Back in 2018, I got a call from Kent when he told me he wanted an Art Deco inspired guitar. I was just over the moon and thrilled and kind of filled with this nervousness and ex excitement to get this kind of guitar started for him. We kind of went back and forth talking about different ideas aesthetically. I knew that I wanted to keep things simple because there's so much going on in the form of a beautiful guitar that I didn't want the design intent to kind of outshine that. I wanted it to balance it and kind of boost the form in a very balanced and elegant way. One day he sent me a photograph of a window treatment that he saw while he was on a walk in San Francisco. It was really simple. It was a circle that was segmented with different lines. That image stayed really strong in the overall design process of the guitar from the simplistic look of the headstock and the lines to the inlay. Also, it led me to the idea of the offset sound hole. It's always an idea that I wanted to try and this was the perfect opportunity to do that, that fell in, in line with his personal energy and the style that he wanted. I think the offset sound hole design, especially with the circles, is just works really, really well. It allows the top to breathe so much. I mean, you can, you can feel it when you hit a chord. The whole guitar is just, just moves. And the offset sound holes allow the uniformity of the top. And the guitar just breathes. Let's hear it. Thank you. 